Yo, what is up YouTube? OG, back again for another video for you guys. I'm going to do a preview for the Arsenal vs Man United game, which kicks off tomorrow, Sunday, 4.30 kickoff. So yeah, big game, big uh, historic rivalry between the two clubs. You know, growing up, it was always Man United and Arsenal as uh, one and two battling out for the title. And, uh, you know, things have, uh, things have changed now in these times, but uh, we still have all the history and all the, all the rivalries, you know, Roy Keane versus Vieira, you know, uh, Henri, Van Nistelrooy, you know, Keown, and, uh, and he get, got in his face when he missed the penalty, you know, 49 undefeated, and uh, they... They broke our streak, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of history, a lot of rivalry between our two clubs. It's a huge game. We're at home. We're at the Emirates. So uh, let's hope uh, we can get the job done. We can get a result. You know, uh, unfortunately, we we drew the last game, two two versus Fulham. We were two one up against ten men, and uh, and they e equalised from a from a corner. So. Absolutely uh, awful result to result there. We should have uh, should have got over the line in that game. And uh, the opposite, uh, Man United, they won their last game three two after being behind two nil against uh, Nottingham Forest. So they've got a lot of uh, momentum going for them. They got a lot of confidence now after getting that victory from behind. So such a shame we couldn't go into this game. Uh, with the confidence and the three uh, three victories in a row that we should have had. So hopefully that won't uh, dampen the spirits too much. In fact, it might even uh, strengthen us and uh, spur us on to have some more passion and, and desire to actually get, get over the line and get, get the job done. So hopefully the fans will be up for it. Uh, the Ashburton Army will be banging the drum. So big up to them, big up to all the, all the supporters. If you're going to the game, you know, I'll, I'll be working, so I think I'll, I'll be actually able to watch most most of the game because I'm working 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. tomorrow. So luckily, I uh, should be able to watch the game and uh, see see what happens. So I look forward to that. So uh, so yeah, it's hard to hard to predict the scoreline at the moment. You know, I'm thinking maybe 2-1 to the Arsenal. My, my uh, immediate thoughts off the top of my head. But, you know, uh, Man United, you know, it was the transfer deadline day yesterday. They, uh, they signed uh, Amrabat, the uh, Moroccan midfielder, who I actually uh, rate. He's actually a, a really good player. So I don't know if he'll start in the game. Maybe he'll, he'll be on the bench. Maybe he'll come on and make a debut appearance. Maybe he'll start. So, uh, but he's a, he's a good option for Man United to have. You know, they, uh, they already have a strong midfield with Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro. And of course, you know Rashford's on form again. Uh, he's he's a dangerous player. He can he's a goal scorer. So we got to watch him. You know uh, we've we've shipped out Rob Holding to uh, Crystal Palace. So uh, <laughs> good luck good luck to him. You know I feel like he actually cost us in the, the last bit of last season when uh, Saliba was injured. I felt he was a real detriment to our team, a real lack of strength and depth in our squad. So. I'm happy to see him go and, and move on. And uh, his, uh, his time at Arsenal is over. Sambi Lekonga, he's uh, gone on loan, uh, I think, to Luton. So good luck to him. You know, he he played a little cameo role here and there, maybe last season or a bit. But he wasn't really, really up to it. Or he's still young and still learning. So I don't think uh, he'll end up coming back, if I'm completely honest. So... Good luck to him. You know he did. He he tried his best for the Arsenal, and that's all you can. That's all you can ask. So good luck to him at Luton. So yeah, I think uh, I think Arteta is actually going to change the the team for this game. I think he's had a lot of stick. He's had a lot of backlash. You know, Havertz has had a lot of. Uh, he's the most hated man in the Premier League right now. <laughs> he's so divisive. He's so marmite. All the Chelsea fans are. Uh, celebrating that we took him off their hands because he's absolutely useless, according to them. They can't understand why we bought him. No one knows what kind of player he is, what what position he's supposed to play, and neither does Arteta. And he's tried it four times in a row now. He once in the charity shield where he actually did well as the number nine. I think that's probably his best position, or or as a ten, a nine or a ten. I don't see him as a midfielder in the left centre mid or 
whatever. I, I just don't see that for the right centre mid. But um, I think he's going to get dropped in this game. I think Arteta, the backlash he's had, he's going to see sense. He's not going to play Partey as right back. He's going to go back to what we did last season. We're going to go like 4-3-3. Three, three. It's going to be Ben White right back, Saliba, Gabriel partnership. Left back, there's the thing. Uh, it's probably going to have to be Zinchenko because Tierney's gone out uh, on loan to Spain. Good luck to him. He's a big miss. So Zinchenko should be left back. We're going to have Rice, Partey and Odegaard as the three in midfield. And then Saka and then probably Eddie and uh, Martinelli. So I think that's going to be the team tomorrow. I think the majority of Arsenal fans would pick that team. I think they'd say the team pretty much picked itself at the moment. Maybe Jesus, but Eddie's on form right now. He deserves a start. Let's back Eddie for now. He's, uh, he's playing well, pressing well. He's scoring goals, creating chances. So good luck to him. Let's give him his opportunity in the run, run in the team. And, uh, and yeah, good luck to him. Hopefully he'll score a goal tomorrow as well. And um, maybe I think uh, Martinelli, he needs, needs a good game. But I feel like Saka and Martinelli are getting uh, marked out of the games now because they know our wingers are our most uh, dangerous threats. So it seems to be they're double teaming the wingers, which is like forcing us inside in the midfield. You know, maybe, uh, maybe Declan Rice uh, might pop up with a debut goal. But uh, we'll see. I think uh, we probably will concede a goal against United. You know, a very, uh, very tough team. Uh, they're good. They're goal scorers. So it's going to be a, a great game. Should be a great atmosphere. So, yeah. My prediction is 2-1 uh, to the Arsenal. Come on, you Gunners.